So versammelt ihr euch vor mir, hungrig, verzweifelt, drückt eure Kinder an euch. Kaiser M hier hat seine Legionen in unsere Lande geführt, die Festungen bis zu den blauen Bergen belagert. Tollwütig reißt er Stein um Stein heraus. Männer des Nordens, ihr steht am Abgrund. Eure Könige haben versagt. Nun ruft ihr die Götter an. Und doch fleht ihr nicht. Ihr kniet nicht, streut keine Asche auf die Häupter. Nein, ihr heult. Warum haben die Götter uns verlassen? Dies sind die Proben, die wir einst nicht bestanden. Vor langer Zeit verband sich diese Welt mit einer anderen. Sphärenkonjunktion nennen die Gelehrten den Aufruhr. Die Götter ließen unheilige Kräfte in unsere Domäne. Frucht des Kataklysmus war auch die üble Macht namens Magie. Doch verbanden wir sie nicht, sondern studierten das böse Rätsel. Macht und Wohlstand lockten. Und die Monster auf der Schwelle, die bösen Relikte der Konjunktion? Trolle, Leichenfresser, Wehrwölfe? Erschlugen wir sie oder überließen wir die Bürde anderen? Sogenannten Hexern. Weisen in lästerlichem Ritual mutiert und in böser Zauberei unterwiesen. Monster sollten sie schlachten, obwohl sie gut nicht von Böse unterschieden. Die Menschlichkeit in ihnen war lang erloschen. Wahrlich. Es sind nicht mehr viele, die heute noch umherziehen und ihr blutiges Handwerk feilbieten. Doch bis heute beschämt uns ihre Existenz. Der Norden blutet im Krieg unter der Peitsche der Götter für unsere Sünden. Und denken wir auch an die Schrecken von jenseits dieser Welt? Jeden Vollmond zieht die wilde Jagd über den Himmel. Sie entführen unsere Kinder ins Unbekannte. Mancher meint, sie könnten von einer zweiten Konjunktion. Finden wir den Weg zurück ins Licht? Können wir die Magier in unserer Welt bannen? Können wir uns um die Wärme des ewigen Feuers sammeln? Die Zeit von Schwert und Axt ist nah. Niemand kämpft diesen Kampf für uns. Die Zeit von Wahn und Verachtung ist nah.
now I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Nothing but silver. Gold clashes with my complexion. You should know that. Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments.
Archer is fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Easy to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Tell you about breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Hey, you said we weren't allowed to do that. I said <clears throat> you weren't allowed to do it.
Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera Tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Ciri with a dummy. <sighs> Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! One, two, three. Strong strikes. Give it all you got. Never yeah. lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Yeah. Position series. Footwork. Remember. Bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Gwen. Please 
business are you doing? is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Damn it! Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Not for the Quen sign. Might be a flame by now. All right, Geralt. Come on. Come on. Man. Come closer. Stop showing off, Geralt. Come on. At them. Come for them. Enough. Showing off, Carol. What the blazes are you doing? Had enough? See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy their rhythm. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Damn it. What the blazes are you doing? Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? I'm following. Enough! Geralt. Siri, couldn't move if I wanted to. You'll never learn. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Now. 
Enough! Continue training at will! Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What the? You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? 
I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. And it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Who's next? Show me what you got. Necrophages follow. Oh, before any more show up. This sorcerer I knew couldn't stop talking about how useful yours. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old boards as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Slow now. Whoa. It's gone. 
Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sol one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest to the mountain, sure, but here? And near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. We've lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you?
Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Show me what you got behind the counter. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm hmm. Just remember. We'd rather not draw any attention. Here, the black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why? I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk to you. If his company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. Red-haired woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast, she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Be gone! I'll not talk to you. There are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. 
Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Uh -huh. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. No thanks. Got some other things on my mind. Shame. I'd ask the locals, but since they can't count to ten, the rules are a complete mystery. Ah, well, I'm here if you change your mind. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wenkerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror. Or the man of glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. 
and runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself, the Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <sighs> Don't want your kind here. Wouldn't want to stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. of power should draw from it.
have much work to do. Yondrain at Makir. Vavort. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Stop! How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. What girl? This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. 
I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died, look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Bait. But mm -hmm. probably ma no. Go to Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actor. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once every three days.
much. Whoa there, Roach. Hey, uh. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened? And how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me, I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. Time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my Bruce can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something, something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First I'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. 
Elsewise, you'd not use bait. Just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Yes? Farewell. Come on, Roach. Good woman. This is the road to disease. Anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. His love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilfgaardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might, though. So step careful. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now? Since the war started. Soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies, but they just won't die. Because they're clever, more so than foxes, and they hate men something fierce. Too late. Attacked another one.
Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye, but of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. Sorry. Ah, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? No, oh, not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last, either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Greetings. The Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are older, and deeper, heavily armored. Elf Guardians, probably.
Dragon's Nest. What remains of it at least. The corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. have already hatched, been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Should talk to Vesemir. Not so fast, Roach. Giddy up. That's it, Roach. Though he... Yes, yes. This boy, will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? 
Learned some things. It's a male, had its nest in the vulpine woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. It's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Come on now. Hey! Does the sun ever shine in the back? <laughs> Stream, amber waves of grain, charming place, perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on, 
We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things.
For example? Upward vertical strike, it's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones, I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Run, Roach. Kings do the fighting. What the hell is this? Why? You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I... I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the Griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Thank 
Come on. Hey there. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots, drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister to the birth. No. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! <laughs> <laughs> Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? 
they say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What'd the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Save us! Be gone, and don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl? We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here, some charming orchards nearby, in bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Caremore, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <laughs> this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to His Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that uh, chair. Katwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. Fought on opposing sides, true. 
Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? left Flotsam with Yorvith, commander of a Squiretel unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Not at all. I meddled in a personal affair. Helped Yorvith lift the spell that held Saskia. And in doing so, gave Radovid a reason to begin his witch hunts. Congratulations. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I watched her get in the Megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah, so Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Gallant. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit.
this might come as news to the gentleman, but it's all. waste is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Novgorod. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. From away. Please watch. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency? I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. What? Karen Vatkan, Vatkan. Grimmy et art kerze. Daifen aden in karn eb marvut. Emir var emres. Bow. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favot. So many months at Faltest Court, yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks? Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Surila, she's returned, and she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me.
How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We've had enough breaches of etiquette for one day. And it's past noon. Come, sir. What? what? Do you know who you're talking to, Sokka? I'm Herevard II, Prince of Elanda. Not only am I made to wait for us for another supplement. Yeah, a name. Rad Sleden e Enect es tun es is sour on the name. Es verdeer. Es is verdeer. Er Er vindt zijn neem maar terecht gleich. Er voelt er een enterse watgeldes. Kom heen, watgeld. Watgeld. Es is gleich. Kien weg reine dat. En zelfde den dachte. Es is plent en het nu. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Yes, then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the... Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Emir's court? Mm -hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look. That's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but... I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic. Turn to more traditional methods. 
to the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. <laughs>